This is a beautiful beach. This is not necessarily a beautiful beach, but this is where people come to catch sunsets. The reason why it looks like this now, so if you see this is a river, right? Uh -huh. And it goes into the sea. But then for some reason, they kind of dug up sand and kind of closed it up for whatever reason. Because people love to come swim at the mouth of the river so wherever the river will make their sea but I think it was dangerous Welcome back, in this video we're going to visit Tamarind Beach and if you have been following me with my vacation here in Mauritius you might have seen my first beach review video while I said that I thought that the country of Mauritius had better beaches than the first previous beach that I visited and I can say that I like Tamarind Beach much better. It's just that the surrounding area, to me, it seems like it's just more things to do, more things to see. It's more stores and restaurants you can visit. It's just a little bit better than the previous beach that I had visited. So like my friend just mentioned, this is a river, but they have sand, so they kind of converted it into a beach. And most people, like she said, like to come here because of the sunset. And maybe that's another reason why I like this beach a little bit more. Because of the views. So one thing you can see from my videos visiting Mauritius is that you still have many beaches to choose from. More than the two that you have seen in my video collection of here in Mauritius. So once you come here, it's just your own opinion of what type of beach you're looking for or it could be like myself and just visit many beaches as you can during your vacation here to see what beach fits you what beach you like better than the other and from that you'll make your own conclusion of what beach you like personally for right now I like Tamarind Beach I'm pretty sure if I visit two more beaches that it might change I might change from Thinking that Tamarind Beach is the best beach to another beach. So it all depends, again, your duration of stay and what type of beach do you like. And something that also make beaches better than others is the surroundings, stores, restaurants, or their tourism spots or locations near the beach. So all these things you have to include of choosing what type of beach you like. Now, I visited many beaches throughout my travels around the world and I can say so far in my opinion I think Brazil has the best beaches I mean it's just so many beaches in that country but then again that country is gigantic so you have many options there but Mauritius do have some nice beaches and you're surrounded by nature you know everything is plush lush green you probably will see lots of birds that you have never seen before in your own country. So you're surrounded by nature and animals. If you come here earlier in the day, like big sure. waves, and then people will be like surfing. People surf here, kite surf, and the south. Um, dolphins here. Sunset here.
So as we walk along here, she's just showing me places in the future if I plan to return, which I do. Places that I could stay here. There's lots of apartments in this area along with also hotels. So it just depends on what type of person you are when you travel. Do you like staying in hotels or do you like staying in apartments? And I did see one hostel. So if you're into that. I saw one here, I'm pretty sure there's probably more than one, but I saw one so far. And something I did notice on this beach, I don't know, it might be just me, but if you're Mauritian, you might can inform me more. But it seems like it's more of black people or black Mauritians in this area opposed to Indian Mauritians. I might be wrong, but it just seemed like I've seen more black people here in this area. Since we've been doing a lot of walking and the heat, it is very hot here. We're looking for a store to buy something to drink or get some ice cream. She spotted what it seemed like a birdhouse, but it's not. It's a box with books that people have donated. And if you find something that you like, you're able to take one or two books that you find interesting. So that's something I've never seen before on the beach. The only problem I can see if you chose to stay at this beach is just like the previous beach is that you will be distant from downtown. So it all loops back around to your preference. Where would you like to stay? Things you would like to do. Because if you stay at this beach, it's not like that you could walk or downtown is very near. It's going to take you some time. So you're going to have to take a taxi to downtown. Myself, again, I am a beach type person. Most of the places that you see me at and there's a beach, I'm going to be walking to the beach or on the beach. But this trip to Mauritius just changed my whole thought process when it comes to countries with beaches. And here in Mauritius, I chose to stay not near the beach. I chose to stay in downtown. Something I also noticed while walking along is that the houses here look much better than the houses at the previous beach I was at. So I'm pretty sure some of these houses are Airbnb and rentals for foreigners. So this is something you might want to take in consideration if you choose to come to this beach. Just as we walk along, just look at some of these houses. And then look back at my previous beach review video and look at the houses there near the beach. Totally different. So that might be another reason why you might want to stay at this beach if you choose to because of the houses and I'm pretty sure again some of these houses you can rent out you're taking a cup no all the mats no what is that this is camera yeah this is what the marsh but from viewing this beach as a local Mauritian or you just Mauritian living in another country what do you think of Tamarind Beach is this probably one of your top five beaches and if you're non-Mauritian and you're thinking about visiting here what do you think of this beach so far? Is this a beach that you would like to visit? What do you think about the surrounding areas? Let me know in the comment section below. So here's just another look at this beach. Again, like she said, it's a river. It's kind of almost like a man-made beach, as my friend had said. But to me, I don't know why. I just like it better than the previous beach that I visited here. It's the views. It could be the time of day that I came and it's not very crowded and it's, I'm not seeing a lot of tourists or foreigners. 
all these things could be part of why I like this beach better than the previous beach. But even though it's a, I guess, a man-made type of beach, it still looks like a beach, as you can see. The only man-made beach other than this that I have visited is the beach in Singapore. It is also man-made. And it is a very beautiful beach. If you ever visited Singapore and went to the beach there, it's, it's very beautiful. Pretty soon I will be going there. So at this point in the video, we have came towards the end. So this was my review of Tamarind Beach and my thoughts. So in the comments section, just let me know if this is a beach that you would visit if you choose to come to Mauritius. Or do you have another beach in mind? If you're a local Mauritian, what do you think of this beach? Or if you're a Mauritian living in another country, again, what do you think of this beach? And if you're a upcoming tourist coming to Mauritius, is this a beach that you would visit? Just let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching. And until then, peace out. What are they doing here? Just gathering here and talking? Yeah, like people just come here and play music. Oh, this kind of yeah that's so. that's for like tourists or people actually live there no it's for tourists well oh. anybody if i want to try but yeah like people usually sit here play music like instruments motion pictures are so lively but you know cool like